Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how to find the measure of a given angle when given different supplementary and complementary angles. So before we get started with these examples, I always like to go back and talk about the unit circle and more specifically how many angles are within a unit circle. So if we take a look at a unit circle and we go completely around a circle, any circle has a total of 360 degrees in it. So if I'm taking a look at a quarter of a circle, so just a fourth of this, this is essentially a right angle, and any right angle or a quarter of a circle has 90 degrees. If I take a look at half of a circle then, so a semicircle here, that would be half of the 360 degrees, and that would be made up of 180 degrees. So these two pieces of information here is kind of what we need to understand in order to work the two problems that I have here. Starting with example A, so we have these two angles and we need to figure out what are these two angles equal to. And we're given that one angle is x plus 2 and the other one is 4x minus 137. And what we need to understand about this is that these two angles make up a straight angle or essentially a semicircle. So these two angles here are within a straight angle, a semicircle. And what we know is that a semicircle has a total of 180 degrees. So if these two angles make up that 180 degrees, that means that this angle over here plus this angle over here have to add up to 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do mathematically then is I'm going to take those two angles. So angle 1 is x plus 2. Angle 2 is 4x minus 137. And I'm going to add these two angles up. And I know that these two angles are going to equal 180 degrees. And this is how I set up this problem here. So most of the time when it comes to these problems, you do have to know that little bit of geometry background first. A lot of times they're not going to tell you that little piece there. So you do need to know that they add up to 180 degrees. After this, it's a matter of using your solving equation skills in order to solve it. So if I'm taking a look at this equation here, the first thing that we would start with is combining like terms. So I would combine the x and the 4x together. And I would also combine my numbers together. x plus 4x gives me 5x. And 2 minus 137 gives me minus 135. And that all equals 180 degrees. Since my variable is on the left-hand side, we're going to move our number to the right-hand side. So let's add 135 to both sides. And when we do that, we get that 5x is equal to, well, let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, so 315 there. I need to divide both sides by 5. And when I do so, we get that x is equal to 63. Now, our answer is not 63. That is not the measure of the angle. But what that did is that gave us x. And what we need to do is we need to go back to our problem over here and remember that one of our angles is x plus 2. The other angle is 4x minus 37. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this x and we're going to plug it in and then we're going to figure out what our angle measures are. So I'm going to plug in 63 for x. So we do 63 plus 2, which gives us 65. That means this angle over here is 65 degrees. Doing the same thing for the second angle. So we do 4 times 63 and then minus 137. So let's see. And when I plug that into the calculator, I get a total of 115 degrees. So one angle is 65 degrees, the other angle is 115 degrees. So let's take that understanding and apply that to our second example here. So our second example, we have a right angle, and a right angle is made up of 90 degrees. So we have two angles inside of this right angle, so similar concept, these two angles should add up to, a, I mean, to 90 degrees. So we have angle 1, which is 4n. We have angle 2, which is 14n minus 72. So we should be able to add up these two angles, set them equal to 90, and solve this problem. Using our solving the equation skills, we need to combine our like terms. So 4n plus 14n gives us 18n. Drop down the rest of the problem. 
Since our variable is on the left-hand side, we move our number to the right-hand side, so add 72 to both sides. And we get that 18n is equal to 162. And we're going to divide both sides by 18. And when we do so, and when we do so, we get that n is equal to 9. So again, remember, this is not the solution here. We need to go back, and our two angles were 4n and then 14n minus 72. And we need to take this 9 and plug it into the problem. So first we have 4 times 9, which is going to give us 36 degrees. Then over here we're going to say 14 times 9, then minus 72. So let's see, 14 times 9 is 126. 126, so let's see, is that a 54? So that means that one of the R angles is 36 degrees, the other angle is 54 degrees. And if we do add those up together, we do see that they do total 90 degrees. Otherwise, that is it for this video.